Alright, I've done several Airsoft reviews for YouTube, and most of the comments that I've gotten have consisted of things like, Is he really blind? He's not blind. He is too blind. No, he's not. So I'm going to prove that I actually am. I'm legally blind. I don't know exactly what my visual acuity is, but it's pretty bad. My condition is called Lieber's congenital amaurosis. Lieber, the guy who discovered it, congenital from birth, amaurosis, some big fancy medical term. I don't know. Basically what it means is the cells in my retinas don't work. So I can see some things, but most of the light that comes into the eye doesn't get transmitted to the brain. Um, I read braille, I use a screen reader to access a computer, I have a white cane, I even have a braille watch. See? Flips up and I feel the hands. Right. So this is not my laptop, first of all. Um, this actually belongs to the guy holding the camera. But, oh well. Um, as you can probably see, I'm on Google. I've got a program running that's called JAWS for Windows, made by Freedom Scientific. And what it does is basically just reads out loud what I type and what's on the screen. So, I'll type something in right now. And I'll hit enter to search. And it said 100%, so I'm pretty sure the page is going to be loaded now. I'll hit the H key to jump to the next heading, which on Google will take me to the next result. That's Google, the home page. That's its own heading. Sponsored links. Now I can understand that just fine, though you probably can't. I've got the speech up to 60%. So that's JAWS, and that can be used to access anything from Microsoft, uh, Internet Explorer, Outlook, um, all the basic shell stuff, any command line, uh, Microsoft Word, Access, um, spreadsheets, anything like that. Next, I'll put this down. All right, my personal favorite. This is called a Braille note. See, it says, Humanware. It says it on print, and then it says it in Braille. Humanware is the company that makes these. Basically, it's just a laptop. Though it's classified as a PDA. The keyboard is these. This is my monitor. Whatever is on the screen comes up in Braille. The button above each Braille cell is the cursor. I press it and the cursor jumps to that cell. So when I'm reading along and I find a mistake in something I typed, say it's over here, I just hit the touch cursor button and my cursor is at that position. I can edit from there. This has a word processor, a daily planner with alarms, an address manager, an email client that supports attachments, SSL, IMAP, uh, not IMAP yet actually, POP3. It has a web browser that supports basic JavaScript, no DHTML, <coughs> uh, no AJAX stuff no Java, but it's basic, it, it works. It has a media center with media player, recorder, and radio, a calculator, a database manager that can import CSV files, and basic utilities options and file management options. Um, it has, for anyone who cares, a 416 megahertz X scale processor, 128 megs of RAM, 64 physical, 64 virtual, I'm sorry, I have all those. 64 total, 32 virtual, 32 physical. 128 megs of internal flash storage. Built-in Bluetooth. It has a serial port, two USB host ports for thumb drives, printers, CD drives, 56K modem, infrared, mini USB for active sync. That's an SD slot just below the SD, uh, the USB. I'm not sure if you can see that. CF slot that can support CF cards or Wi-Fi cards and a PCMCIA slot on the side that's currently got a card in it. But, um, so I'll turn this on. So I was reading a book before we started this and I forgot to close that. So it just spoke. It said key book because there's a book reader on here and um, what it does is basically opens files with special commands that let me browse books more efficiently and that was still open. So it said Keybook, that's the name of the application, resuming reading of, and then the book title. 
So I'll hit E to exit. And I'll turn this up some. There we go. Hopefully that's not going to be too loud. Now I'm at the main menu, which is the replacement for the desktop. This is a whole menu-driven system instead of dialogues. So the main menu here has all the options I was talking about, the word processor, planner, and so on. Word processor, planner, address list, email, internet, media center, word reader, scientific calculator. And so on. So I'll go to the word processor for now. Keyword menu. And the whole program, the menu interface, is called Keysoft. So all their programs begin with key. Keybook, keyword, the word processor, key plus. So I'll open this. And now it says keyword menu. I'll press O to open a file. So I'll, I can then open any file I want from here. So I'll go to General, and I'll just open an old text file. So now you can see there's a blank line. See, there's no Braille except for these two dots, and those are my cursor. So I'll type, I'll just type a quick sentence. And I'll tell it to read the sentence aloud. There we go. That easy. No. Okay. And that'll do it. If, if you're still not convinced that I actually can't see much of anything, then uh, too bad.